the tree that acted like a hunter. Impatience. Once upon a time, there was an antelope who lived in the deep forest. He ate the fruits that fell from the trees. There was one tree that had become his favorite. In the same area, there was a hunter who captured and killed antelope and deer. He put down fruit as bait under a tree. Then he waited, hiding in the branches above. He held a rope noose hanging down to the ground around the fruits. When an animal ate the fruit, the hunter tightened the noose and caught him. Early one morning, the antelope came to his favorite tree in search of fruits to eat. He did not see the hunter was hiding it with his noose trap ready. Even though he was hungry, the antelope was very careful. He was on the lookout for any possible danger. He saw the delicious looking ripe fruits at the foot of his favorite tree. He wondered why no animal had eaten any and so he was afraid something was wrong. The hiding hunter saw the antelope approaching from a distance. Seeing him stop and take great care, he was afraid he would not be able to trap them. He was so anxious that he began throwing fruits in the direction of the antelope, trying to lure him into coming closer. But this was a pretty smart antelope. He knew that fruits only fall straight down when they fall from trees. Since these fruits were flying towards them, he knew there was danger. So he examined the tree itself very carefully and saw the hunter in the branches. However, he pretended not to see him. He spoke in the direction of the tree. Oh, my dear fruit tree, you used to give me your fruits by letting them fall straight down to the ground. Now, throwing them towards me, you do not act at all like a tree. Since you changed your habits, I too will change mine. I will get my fruits from a different tree from now on, one that shall act like a tree. The hunter realized his mistakes and saw that the antler antelope had outsmarted him. This angered him, and he yelled out, You may escape me this time, you clever antelope, but I'll get you next time for sure. The antelope realized that by getting so angry, the hunter had given himself away a second time. So he spoke in the direction of the tree again. Not only don't you act like a tree, but you act like a hunter. You foolish humans, humans who live by killing animals, you do not understand that killing the innocent bring harm also to you, both in this life and by rebirth in a hell world. It is clear that we antelopes are far wiser than you. We eat fruits, we remain innocent of killing others, and we avoid the harmful results. So saying, the careful antelope leaped into the thick forest and was gone. The moral is, the, rock, the wise remain innocent.